You can't see it, but my room is in shambles as we speak. My mattress was vacuumed today. My sheets were vacuumed today. My clothes were vacuumed today. The floor was vacuumed today. Everything was vacuumed today. Why, Troy, you ask? I'll tell you why. It is because I'm a murderer. So basically, my friend Kayla's mum went away to South Africa for a couple of weeks. So Kayla was staying at her house by herself. So I'm sitting at home having a normal day, and all of a sudden, bring, 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 my phone starts to ring. Troy! in my house and I really don't know what to do. <laughs> it's huge. Can you please come here and fix it for me? Now I know what you're thinking. Try and Kayla, calm the f down. It's just a cockroach. No. Cockroaches in Australia are not normal cockroaches. First of all, they're about this f***ing big. And as you take the bug killer spray, the bitch takes off. Cockroaches fly in Australia. <laughs> Now I had just woken up and I received this phone call, so I go to Kayla without a t-shirt on, I'm in my pajama pants, and I am ready to take on whatever this cockroach brings. She shows me where the cockroach is. Now, 100% expecting the thing to put up a fight, I go up to it slowly, ready to jump back, just in case it takes flight, and I spray. And I spray. And I spray. The thing drops to the floor and starts to twitch. This cockroach didn't fly, didn't come at me, didn't try any funny business whatsoever. And here I am, gassing this little innocent creature. My conscience kicks in right away and I start to feel terrible. Now, I don't know if you've heard that statistic, but apparently the only thing that would survive a nuclear wipeout of the entire globe would be cockroaches. I 100% believe this because I come back half an hour later and the little guy is standing there after just being gassed to mother almost death and it's going... My heart swells, but nevertheless, I go home and I carry on about my day. Later that day, I'm sitting on the beach with my family. All of a sudden, I feel a tickling on my leg. I look down, a bee. Dad? My dad comes in and says, Troy, don't move. Takes it, the piece of paper slowly, slowly releases it into the wild. I, I breathe a sigh of relief and think to myself, that must have been karma for killing a cockroach. You know what? I deserved that. I get into bed that night and start falling asleep. I feel a tickling on my leg. I lift the blanket, and what do I find? A cockroach was crawling on my leg. I jump out of bed faster than Usain Bolt at the London Olympics, almost in tears, and then I run and I go spend the night in my big brother's room. Now that was karma for killing the cockroach. The next night I'm lying in bed on my laptop, all of a sudden, a spider comes from my ceiling and lands on my computer. I think, no. Not two nights in a row. Not two bad bug experiences in a row. I flick the little thing away because it's one of those tiny, tiny ones and proceed to go to sleep a little scared. The next night, I'm lying on my bed, a spider comes from the roof and lands on my laptop. Third bad bug experience in a row. I flick it off, freak out, and go sleep in my brother's room for the third night in a row. I think, surely, surely that's gotta be it. The next night, I'm with my friends. My friends go, Troy, is that a spider on your bed? I look on my bed, there's another little spider. I flick it off and I say to my friends, guys, I'm convinced that there is some sort of bug infestation in my room. They leave after a fun night at Troy's house and I get back into my bed. What do I find on my bed? Not a spider, not a cockroach. One of those f***ing fire ants. There was a fire ant in my bed. Those things bite and hurt like bitches. What are you doing in my bed? So in the end of the day, I vacuumed every single surface in my room, released some sort of butt bomb where I had to literally evacuate my house for two hours. And I've been living in my big brother's room for the last week where there is no Wi-Fi. I repeat, there is no Wi-Fi. All because I killed a cockroach. Calm as a bitch. So when I was originally filming this video, I may or may not have forgotten to wink. So um, yeah, I will see you next week. Bye!